All right. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. We're letting everybody get joined on. There's Miss Margie. Everybody's diving in. Um, Karen, are you here yet? I Karen, am here. I am Karen is here. Excellent. Excellent. It's not my PM for a long time. So, but I made. Yeah. It. I changed the setting to not let anybody in ahead of time because yesterday, for some reason, it was um, doing recordings of people that got in early on the cloud and calling that the meeting. So, you know, we're still learning our way around these Zooms and uh, we will continue to get better at them. I want to give everybody a quick heads up. If you're having issues with your documents through Transaction Desk, um, we have got a lease in there. Uh, she can get you, it, the, we called the board, who said to call customer support, who said to call the board. Um, so we are working through the issue as quickly as we can. And Elise has an admin login, so she can get your paperwork. Just call her if there's a specific deal you need to work on right now. She's working on transferring everyone's paperwork from the old transaction desk, a copy of it to the new transaction desk that, that you have on your listing. Um, but if you have a, a document you need to deal with or a deal you're working on immediately, contact her and she can she can get you all of those documents in a, in a PDF that you can just reload up into um, the new listing. And Richard, we may I may be reaching out to you to get you to call um, the board and say, what the heck are you doing to all my agents? They need access to our paperwork because they're, they're being a little bit persnickety. Um, I got it. But Elise is on it. Elise is on it. So. And Mary Hewlett, I located your missing one, so it'll be in your transaction desk soon. Mm -hmm. So we're also working through a small issue with showing time. Um, Kedra and I did establish that that showings can still be scheduled through the online portal, so people can schedule showings to your listings. Um, it it uh, should be notifying you if they are. Um, Richard at least has a spreadsheet. So if I know some of the um, agents that have not gotten your transfer paperwork over, or gotten your listings transferred over yet, um, please do so. If, if it's an amendments thing right now, there's still a lot of your listings that are showing up under Richard. So I'm sure Richard is getting the, um, the contacts about it and we are working through getting that information out to you as best we can. Um, I don't want to say thankfully we're at a period where there's a few less showings being scheduled, but you know, um, Richard loves it. Don't let him fool you. Well, we, you know, we appreciate Richard. We appreciate you so much. Uh, and we know the broker's job, the DR's job, um, helping us wrangle all of these agents uh, and all of these transactions because we do so much business between the two groups. Uh, we're really grateful for all the work you and Connie are putting in and, and we appreciate you hanging in there and taking care of all this. Oh, look, he bailed out. He said, I don't want to listen to this anymore. Um, all right, so uh, we are doing the 11 o'clock. Karen Schulte is going to share her screen and pull up and talk to you guys about how to submit your documents through um, command and talk to you about what she does for compliance. Am I accurate in saying that, Karen? Uh, yeah, but if you're hosting it, how do I pull up my screen? You can still go. It should, you should be able to go up to the top and click share screen. You see that there at the top of your screen, if you cursor up there. Okay. I see you share screen at the bottom. Ah, I'm in at the bottom. That's what I said. <laughs> go down to the bottom, go down to the bottom and click, click share screen. And, uh, that should pull your screen up for everyone. Um, there you go. Karen has started screen sharing. Hey, there you are. All right. Let me find what I got to find. If everything stops spinning, please stop spinning. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. We can hear you. All right. Since I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's okay. We're all learning together. <sighs> I needed a short, you know, like when I had to drive that car that had the push button start, I needed that short tutorial and <laughs> didn't get one of those this morning, Martin. That's okay. That's all right. You're doing just fine. Let me see if I can go find, there we go. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. 
All right, so uh, we're gonna get into command from mykw.kw. So if I click on that, it should bring me to my login page. I'll log it in. And I don't know if all of you have seen this page or not, if you've all been in here and looked around or not. Yes, no, maybe. Now, probably some of our, our uh, agents, if you haven't gotten your Scholaroy questionnaire filled out, this is why you got to get that done, is this is how you get your log into this. So then once you get into this main Keller Williams page, if you go to technology, you'll see command. If you, you can click on that. Same login will get you into command as got you into your main Keller Williams page. And I'm gonna try to go fairly slow because sometimes people get lost in some of this. So I hope I don't bore you too much. All right, so this is my command page. I'm, I'm into command right now. The only thing different about mine probably than will be from yours is I have command MC and that's how I can go in and do some of the compliance things that I need to do. Okay, so we're gonna go to opportunities, which is the two hands that are shaking. It's like a handshake over here. And if you click on that, and I'm hoping the internet doesn't go down. It's already gone down on me twice today, Martin. So if you lose me, you'll have to take over. <laughs> huh. You know how it is over here. Since I thought you had a hot spot. I do, but it'd take me a while to have to put it back on and hook back up. Gotcha. I try not to use all my data. Gotcha. Okay. So now I'm gonna just gonna go in, I have my listings. And so I have put a couple things in here that are just ones for me to play with. And when you guys get in here, the best thing to do would be just to make up a dummy buyer, seller and play in here. So I'm gonna to go to my active. And I have my good old Bobby test here. Okay. So here is the opportunity that I started. Well, let me go back. Let me go back, Martin. Yeah, would you start by, we have a listing. This is a seller's name. How do we start with that? Yep, I'm going, that's, I'm going back. Okay. Okay, so up here in the corner, you can see where it says create an opportunity. So that would be the, where, what you would start. Now, here is where you're gonna add information. You're going to need to put your contacts in so that you'll be able to find them in here because you will not be able to pull them up when it asks who your client is. You're gonna to need to type their name here so they can pull. That? How do you do the contacts? Oh, never mind. I found that. <laughs> Sorry. It's, okay. it's all right. It's a, no biggie. So you'd put, pull your contacts up in here. And here is where you just type the name and that's where I do my Bobby test. So I would pull that up also. Okay, so I'm Lake of the Ozarks. I'm not on a team. The owner of this opportunity is myself. I'm gonna do the opportunity type can be a listing, a buyer, a landlord, or a tenant. Mm -hmm. So you pick what that is. And Karen, I just wanna I just wanna pop on and, and let everybody know the market center, the franchise name is Keller Williams Lake of the Ozarks. So so in your command it's gonna say Lake of the Ozarks for the Market Center. Don't worry, this is not going to affect you using Keller Williams Four Seasons Realty as your name. That this is just for internal internal math. Everything runs through the franchise. Hang on, I just got people who came into the front office. I'm asking them to hush a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Sims just went by. So, okay, so then we're gonna go back to um, the client name and that's Bobby Test. 
and he's going to have a listing. And so I'm going to create that listing. Now, I don't know. Um, I think Jordan's going to do a bunch of stuff about contacts. Is that correct, Martin? Yes, so ma'am. Thursday, Thursday we're diving into command contacts. Absolutely. So once you get those contacts in, then this will make a little bit more sense, I hope. I'm going to hope it's going to let me create this. Oops, got to put commission rate. Sorry. And that's that. Usually if it would be 6%, you put the half in here. So that's why I put the three. You always like to get all of it, but not always, will you? Oh, no. Okay. So then... You get into here and there's a whole lot of information in here for you to, to fill out. It's hard to kind of see, but up here in these corners, there's a little pencil like icon. Can you see that? Yes. I'm just watching the Lisa. She's look, I don't know if she's looking at the screen or whatever, but it's like, I didn't know if she could see it. So I was just asking. I can. I okay. can't get my fake Jane Doe contact to show up it, when I do create an opportunity, no matter what I do, my Jane Doe doesn't show up under client. So I just gave up and I'm just going to watch you. That darn Jane. I know. <laughs> so you're also going to see, okay, so it says Lake of the Ozarks again, Bobby test. Um, and this is when Jordan will go into how you can tag people and um, different ways to tag them can be uh, by their neighborhoods. If they're in a combo, condo complex, you can tag them by the complex. Um, I have agents tagged as L-O-B-R-B-D-A-R. So you can tag things however you want to. And it'll, you'll come up with creative ways. I heard a question, but I couldn't. I mean, somebody asked a question, but it was really quiet. Yeah, lean into your microphone there. Can you have multiple tags? Yes, yes, you can have multiple tags. I have some that I have, like they're in uh, their agents, their Keller William agents. They're in the top 20. I can, you can tag them with as many as you want to. Okay. All right. Now, for some reason, it won't let me save this. Usually that's because you don't have some information in there. Scroll down. I did scroll down. It won't go any farther. Use the other little scroll there to your left. See the little, no, left of where you were scrolling. There's two scroll bars side by side. Right here? No. The next one to the, just, just an inch to the, a quarter inch to the left there. See it within the window? That's where you guys all are. <laughs> Like in here, this is where you are, Martin. Right. I don't have, okay. Move your cursor over just a little. You see it there to the left? I can see it on the screen. I can't, I can't touch it for you. Oh. Martin? I didn't. <laughs> All right. I got out of where I needed to go. All right, there you go. So this is what your opportunity looks like once you've created it. All right, the other thing to know is when you create an opportunity for <clears throat> Amy to be able to pay you and for it to be easier, we ask that you name the opportunities the address of the property. Now, after you do the address, then you can also do the seller's name. But for the person to be able to pay you, it's just easier, <clears throat> excuse me, if you name it the address because Usually there's only one address, but this, the name, there can be multiple of that same name. Does that all make sense? Yes? No? Yes. I think so. <laughs> Some where they do that. So in other words, we've named it <clears throat> Bobby Test Listing. So the opportunity name needs to be something different. Is that correct? Okay, okay so... <clears throat> All right, Bobby test. 
Well, that's my person. Select the listings. Usually I can. All right. Yeah, Martin, a, I can, go ahead. There's a little pencil there, general information. Yeah, and that's where we just were. Right. And you could change the opportunity name to the address there. Oh, yep, right there. Sorry. Right. So and Bob is going to buy. If, if you notice, there on that window to the right is a separate scroll bar. So Bobby, here's the name of Bobby's address. 482 Wisdom Road. We're going to save that. Do you guys care if you do like address, comma, and then name, and sometimes like the seller to the buyer's name after that, or do you no, not? No, you, can, you can do that. We just need the address first. Okay. That just makes it easier when she's going through the system to be able to pay you. And we want it to be as easy as it can be for her to find you to pay you. Okay. Yeah, because we've also done that the name of the buyer to the seller, so you know also, like you said, you might have multiple deals with someone and you know the address and then buyers seller. Right. right. Okay, so so basically now I'm gonna go into um and what I was planning to do more is into showing you the document stuff. So in here it has where it says documents. If you click on this, it's going to take us into this part of command. You will see that Connie has already put in here listing documents that she wants added to this file. Well, and those are not the documents. Those are just no, the these list are the of documents. documents. This right. is that's yeah, it's the list of documents she wants in here. So you'll see the those are the things she wants in here. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a allergies or a cold and struggling here. Okay. And here, as we talked yesterday, is the listing, a copy of the listing checklist, as we talked about, if you remember that from yesterday. So that there is a copy of that in here. And we're gonna we're gonna update that to not say required for dot loop so that it doesn't uh, confuse anyone. Okay, I had to get rid of all you guys' pictures so I could see over here. Sorry, <laughs> you are all in my way. All right, so we're gonna come over here, and okay, we're gonna look in the listing contract. Okay, so I made up just a test one, so I'm going to hit add a file. I'm going to do manual. I'm going to search my computer for it. I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to type in what I named it. So I named it test listing contract. So I'm going to hit that. Open. And then if I assign it right here, do you see the assign? That will throw it right into that spot. So that's how you can enter your documents in here. Once you've entered everything that you have, and you can do this multiple times during this listing. If you get the contract, you can put that in. You can send that to me to be reviewed. If then later you get the seller's disclosures because they had to fill it out and bring it back to you, put that in then and then send it to me to review. You don't have to wait until you get everything in here to send it to me. And as we talked yesterday, don't wait until your listing is ready to close. I mean, you've sold it and then send it to me because that will take me a lot longer to review it all. So the more often you send it to me, the faster I can get probably get it back to you. So when we connect it to this checklist, does it automatically send it to you for review or is that a separate button? I'm coming to that far. Uh, you're awesome. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I okay. was distracted doing something else and thought I missed it. Nope, you're all right. You see this blue button up here that says submit to MC? That's the magic button that sends it to me. 
And you're saying that we can hit that for like we do a doc, couple documents now, we submit it. Come back, we can add a couple documents, and we submit it again. Correct. You can come in here and submit as many times as you want to. Okay, so it's not like a one-time deal, submit all documents, because that's the way our other system kind of was. Oh, no, this is not a one and done. This okay. Come in and keep submitting as much as you want to. Gotcha. And also because, okay, then once you submit it, and it's going to ask you for sure that you want to. Dustin, don't submit it until you get signed. So in other Correct. Words, yeah. He doesn't want to be looking over all kinds of documents that aren't even active yet. So, but once you get a listing signed or a buyer's agency or contract, you can go ahead and submit it and add other documents that need to be done. And she will let you know what you're missing. So you kind of got a check file there. Yeah. And you also, you also don't have to do them one at a time. You can use the attached multiple files there at the top and do a bulk load. So like a lot of you guys that are using transaction desk right now, to stay comfortable with it, um, you may download all your transaction desk files and then attach them as multiple files all at once to, to help. Thank you. And if you go ahead. Sorry, we just got a delivery, I think, to the UPS or FedEx guy. <laughs> Mary Sorry. Hewlett, can you turn your volume up for what you're saying? I am up as high as it will go. Okay, okay. we can hear you there. So we need to move all of our Four Seasons ones into here, correct? This is where you will submit for compliance, yes ma'am. Yes, because this will need to be where they are when you sell all your listings or when you have a sales contract. Everything will need to be in here. <laughs> and if you want, if you download them all as one PDF and you attach them all to just one of these things, and send them in if you'll add in the comment hey karen had to attach it all as one she can go through it on the list so you know don't don't feel like you've got to download 20 individual pdfs and upload now wait on your comment there you're saying attach multiple files if you go point to multiple files and pull it in here is it just going to list them out as separate documents not in these like fictitious names commission revision form these are separate categories it's just going to list the dockets separately is, is there a document splitter? No, ma'am. There, not, there not is a, not a document splitter in command. There is a document splitter in DocuSign. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. if and if you hit the attach multiple files right here, you can go. You can see the list of oh. documents required, and you can come in and match them up, and then I'll attach them at the same time, mm -hmm. and they'll go into the appropriate category. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. So you can come in and do it basically one time, but you're gonna you'll have your list saved in your computer, downloaded somewhere, and just drag one at a time over and then enter them all. Okay. Okay. The and so say you, you sent me something and it was not signed in the right spot. Something happened. I need to send it back. So there's an add comment here well, where I would go in and I would send you a little note that would tell you what I needed or what I needed you to fix. And that will be there for you and, you and I can send messages back and forth in here throughout this whole transaction. So I'll send it back to you. Then you can send it back to me with a message. This is just our little sort of private communication area. So we can do as many messages back and forth as we need to. Okay. Which Karen loves questions. So you guys don't worry, <laughs> ask her lots of questions and just she'll, we'll work it out with you. It's uh, yeah. If you have questions, just ask me or call me and ask me if you need help with something, call me and ask me. I have, you know, things come up. Closings happen, you're missing a document. If I know, if I have the chance, I can call and get those documents. I called Great American the other day and got resale certs or somebody so I could get them paid. Because we're trying to get you paid if we can. I'm trying not to hold you up. <laughs> hey, Martin. Yes, ma'am. Didn't we have a problem if they were using different search engines other than Google? 
Uh, okay, we had a problem. If you're using a browser, a web browser other than Google Chrome, um, command doesn't do as well because because everyone has a different device, a HP, an Apple, a, a MacBook, all these different devices. Um, what we found is the web browser, Google Chrome, is the best. Like if you're using Internet Explorer, I can tell you right now, command's not going to work. Um, Google Chrome is a free browser extension. You can get it from from Google, and Google Chrome is where you'll find the best success. Just now. good point. Any other questions at this point in time? Uh, Mar Mar Marina asked if it's being recorded. It is. We're we're um we're recording it the, for whatever reason, Marina. Um, the ones that we're doing in the cloud on Zoom seem to record very confusingly. So I'm still working on how to get those done and uh, loaded to the YouTube channel. I'll be loading more of the trainings tonight for whatever reason. The Monday, the morning, the 9 a.m.s are working. Um, I don't know if the 11 a.m.s. There's just a lot of people on Zoom and it's bogging their servers or what. Um, but well, what I can do is do a loom on it too and just yeah, that's what I was fixing to say. Karen and I are going to put together a lot of little three to five minute loom videos to put on the YouTube channel as well. And, uh, and we'll walk you guys through this step by step. And there's a, a list uh, that I believe everybody should have got a list of the Marty Miller 66 day challenge 3.0 of all the classes that he did. Mm -hmm. I know I emailed it out. If you need to get another copy of it, let me know. You can go in there and if there's a topic in command that you're struggling with, want more information on, then you'll know which day of that to go to. Hey, Karen? Yes. So now you've showed them how to get a listing in. Can you show them how to kick that listing into an under contract status? Oh, so, okay. Yeah, just let me go back to my opportunities here in just a second, okay? Okay. Okay. The other, the other thing I wanted to talk to in here is if you have something that doesn't fit into the categories below, can give it a name, tell us what kind of document it is, and manually also put that in here in here. Because sometimes we, you know, we're in real estate, we get some weird things. So if you have something that does not fit in the list of required documents here and here, you can still put it in here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my opportunities. just so you kind of get used to walking around in here. And as you can see on this bar right now, I have, these are the ones that I play with. I have one, two of them that are under cultivate, which is like, they're not really listed yet. I'm working with the people trying to get an appointment. Then you can put the ones that you have appointments for. Then you have the ones that are active. Then they can go under contract and then you so if Karen, I, yes? I'm sorry, Mary H was, was asking, is it possible to get a written step-by-step -step? Mary? I am assuming is asking a step-by-step -step set of instructions on how to do this as far as written. Is that accurate? Mary, is that what you're looking for? That is accurate. Okay. I am um, the one that I can't watch the video. I've got to have it where I can look at it, hold it in my hand. I mean, I don't read, stuff online I go to the library and get a book if I can have a paper <laughs> gotcha it just, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure there are others that are like that as well and I know you're the only one Mary uh, <laughs> yeah no there's plenty I of that we understand Margie Stafford wants one <laughs> <laughs> okay well now that Margie wants it we'll get right on it I can now tell you that out in everybody <laughs> yeah no um Karen do you think that's something that you could um slap together yeah, either I can do it or there may already be something out there. If I look through all the Keller Williams stuff, there might already be something. That yeah, we'll, we'll that. dig in on that. Um, Mary, that's a good point. You know, these days so much training is online. Everybody's moving to the video, but but lots of people still enjoy having um, the written out step by step. So we will, uh, hey, we will if jump you put on it that. on YouTube. YouTube usually creates a transcription for you for your videos. So after it's uploaded to YouTube, you may be able to just export that type of transcription. 
Okay, well, I will go. I will go look for transcriptions of the YouTube videos that we've already uploaded to see if we have that option. Good call, Elise. We'll we'll get one out. We'll get a written step by step out for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Any anything to help? I mean, you know, I came into real estate in uh, many years. I was a preschool teacher, so I kind of feel I'm back to that and trying to teach people how to do things. So. Anything that helps people, I'm willing to try and get it for them and see if we can get everybody. Did to you just that. relate us to preschoolers? Yes, I did. <laughs> no, she meant dealing with me is like dealing with a preschooler. Uh, no, so Martin. The rest I of you guys are like high schoolers. No, Martin, I didn't. I did mean that because that's my personality, Martin. Because <laughs> I, I am ornery and Martin will tell you that. But we ornery back and forth at each other, so it's all right. So... Just throw it at me, it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna go click into my cultivate here. I suppose I better move along or, you know. Okay, so we got Bobby Test and he's over here. I wanna move him. I have an appointment set with him. I can move him into my appointment. I can move, you know what? Now I have an active listing for this one. So I moved him to active. You can move your clients into all these different stages just by clicking on those little things that it made and move them right along mm -hmm. all the way up to close. So, and we always encourage everyone, like Karen said, create a test dummy client and take them yeah. all the way through all these paces. You'll get a feel for it and it won't, won't throw off anything. won't hurt anything. It's so no, much I, um, the easier. The only person to, that'll see it is me if you submit it, and I don't care. I mean, that's fine. It's, yeah, it's, she'll she'll know that Mr. Joe Mama is not really buying a house. Yeah, I'll, I'll know that you know, it, especially if you get it in a name like Joe Mama or Bobby Test or whatever. I'll, I'll I should figure it out, and you know it should all work but yes just come in here the easiest way to learn it all is just to come in and play in here you're not going to hurt it just come in look at it another thing um that i don't know a lot of people know in here is you can go up here to this connect button and i just want to show that while we're in here you're going to hope it will open And so this connects to different groups that you are a part of, and you can send different information to different Keller Williams agents in here. You can talk about different properties in here. So it's another good way to connect with other KW agents. So just some, you know, just that's where you just have to come in and just kind of poke around and see where all you can go and what you can do and the different items in here. As I said, the command MC, that's where I go. And I will show you that just a little bit of that so that you'll get an idea where I will see things. Also, let's see, as a clue, if you, when you get Kelly on your phone and in here, you're gonna see this bell icon if there's a little red dot here, that means someone has sent you a message or you have a notification. So pay attention to the bell in both, Ke both Kelly and in command. Okay, so I'm in command MC and that's where I come to um, do compliance. And there goes Sherry with her phone ringing. <laughs> so when I come in here, I will know when so, so here's Bobby Test because I just submitted that to the MC, so I know that I need to go look at that. Commission requests when we get to where we're paying everybody just with commission requests. Right now, here at the Market Center, we're still using green sheets and commissions. We have some people doing some of each, but we will get to where it's just commissions and those will come pop up in here. And there's um, 18 things for me to look at in here. Some of these are the test ones that people 
send these, including the one I just sent myself. But this is how I see when people have sent things to review. And then I will, would hit review and I'd go through your documents and hopefully say approved. That's my goal. Questions? I'm sure we made it as clear as mud for everybody. Don't yeah, that's worry. What I'm thinking. I'm thinking I died probably because there's because I think it'd be easier if I just do a loom and send it out and then they can start and stop and absolutely. What and we'll, the heck we'll, did she just say? <laughs> we'll get we'll get some written uh, we'll get a written outline up for you guys too. Um, yeah, cultivate equals trying to get them to buy or sell, but they haven't agreed to anything yet. Absolutely. Yes. And, and um, one of the things, this is another step where we kind of let you, um, you can you can set those um, stages. You can kind of use them as you see fit. In fact, you, there's even a way to edit them if you want to. And so we don't, you know, I mean, once yeah, they're active, obviously them. that's active. Um, but if if you call cultivate anything until you've got them active, that's okay with us. We, we, we don't particularly mind what stage they're in. So you're saying a cultivate is just simply you put in a contact information for someone and you know, like they, maybe they, they came to an open house and they said that they were looking, but they haven't done anything else. You just put that contact in and then you, that's where you are using them. Yes. Yeah. Like, Dustin, that's exactly the example. You're, I was, yep, you're that's, that's exactly the uh, example I was going to use is if I am holding an open house and some people come in, I get their contact information and I'm going to be working on converting them into, you know, into a potential lead for me. And I'm going to put them in my database. I'm going to go ahead and create an opportunity because that's what every person is, right? We call it opportunities because every time you get in contact with someone, that's an opportunity. Now you won't always close them all, but you know, in theory, best practices, I get that information from Dustin at my open house. I put him, um, I put him, in the cultivate and and in my contact info i set him up on a smart plan to start touching him every week and try to convert that into business and once i get an appointment i move it over to there and then once i get him active i move it over there so it's just about you tracking your business and and again this is one of those things where you know we don't make you do it that way it's the best practice if you do it that way but you certainly don't have to um margie asked are our listings in command now so um the ones that have been, if you've gotten Connie, your transfer of paperwork and Connie, if I say something wrong, jump on me. Um, if, but we've gotten your transfer of paperwork and they are now not, you know, a lot of the listings were still saying, uh, sorry. Had a they, are not text in message. they are not in command. They are, they are transferred over in the MLS and you will have to put them in command. And I'm well, okay. Let's, let's clarify that. You okay. don't, you're listing the MLS feeds command. So as far as like, if you're trying to make an advertisement for it and the KW listing service, it has an IDX feed that pulls your listings over into command that you can use to do your marketing with, you can use to run ads with things like that. As far as putting your paperwork in command, that is not, that is not in command. You will have to, you will have to upload it. That's why we told everybody if, if you want to use Transaction Desk, you can just download, upload. Karen and Elise can help you through it. We will, we'll all walk you through it and, and hold your hand with it all. Um, but the paperwork from Transaction Desk doesn't just somehow feed into command, right? And, and what you can do is you can do your paperwork through command if you so choose, but we're not, you know, you don't have to do it that way. And, and we wanted to kind of let you guys eat the elephant in small bites, so to speak. Basically, if once you learn this system, if you can transfer them over to just using command and starting your uh, contracts in command, it will be easier than having to transfer them over. But you yep. don't have to do that if you're comfortable with doing it in uh, the way you've been doing it and then uh, copying them over, that's fine. But eventually your goal should be to work everything out of command so you're not putting in the extra work. Sure, because it's an easy, I mean, it's designed to be a one-step platform where you can put your contacts in, start your deals, do your paperwork, all right there from the one 
one platform and, and do everything from start to finish. Uh, Mary H., I'm assuming it's the same steps for a buyer, but what do you do when you get a contract on your listing? Um, <laughs> what do you get? What, what do you do when you get a contract on your listings? What steps do you take? And Richard wants us to let us know he didn't bail. He just moved from his phone to his PC. Um, Mary H., so if you're talking about a double-sided transaction where you have the buyer and the seller, you have to create a buyer opportunity and a seller opportunity because those are se separate yep. clients, separate com compliance submissions, everything. If it's a contract that comes in from out of the office or in the office to you, then you have to put it in uh, under contract and, and download the contract mm -hmm. into your listing and move it from uh, active to under contract. Well, oh, you know what? And that's a great point, Connie. I'm reading her question and maybe I didn't read it right. Mary, it says, I'm assuming it's the same steps for a buyer, but what do you do when you get a contract on your listing? If you mean when I, another agent makes a contract on your listing, you simply bring, you come back and you upload that. You can go back and upload documents throughout the process. Um, Karen, if you'll open back that, that back up and show them, there's a window for listing and then there's a window for under contract, right? Oh, yeah. You mean in the documents? Yes, ma'am. Open that back up. That's a great question, Mary. And I'm glad, I'm glad Connie answered that because it made me think maybe I wasn't thinking through what you were saying right. So, there you go. So, if I Boy, get in... Bobby Test buys a lot of real estate from you. He does. That's my, I, Bob is my husband, so he's Bobby. Um, so, so if you go into documents, if that's what you're talking about in here, you can have the listing documents. When it goes under contract, then those are in here. And then when we get to close, you can put your closing documents also in here for me to look at. Absolutely. And, here's and when it comes to your closing documents, if the title company um, sends us those or you can get them to Karen, um, we will upload your closing docs for you. Oh, I'm, I'm Mary just H says you, if I had a camera, I'd turn it on Amy because she's making faces at me right now. So. <laughs> All right. That, that was the question. That was the question that Mary H was answering. So good but job there, Karen. Okay. Okay. So yes, they're they're all in here. They're over on this side over here, the different. So there's the under where you put your under contract documents. Mm -hmm. Are right here. So yes, I'm, they're here. Excellent. So other questions and and guys, I can't stress enough. We're here for you. Don't don't think you got to learn it all right now. Please practice it, but please reach out to me, Karen. Um, you know, we're happy to help you through the steps. Because, you know, then we'll make a, I'll make a loom. I'll go through this and then we'll go through like offers and other things because that's going to be a little bit different. And I'm understand to you guys, most of you already use DocuSign or do you all just use the transaction desk for e-signatures? Elise? Um. I think that it was a combination because some people used AuthentiSign through Transaction Desk and then others paid for DocuSign. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm still having an issue and hang on a second. Okay. I'm still having an issue where did my camera Your DocuSign your DocuSign needs to be the command DocuSign. So you don't use the DocuSign that you've paid for. You can you can oh. cancel that one out and start the new one in command. You, do, you cannot use your old DocuSign and put it into command uh, the way you want it to. Can, yeah, can we... you unshare your screen? Can I unshare my screen? Yeah, I wanted to show you what I was having an issue with. I, I still can't get my Jane Doe to show up as a client. Oh. Like she shows up, but I can't select her when we go to start the thing. So I thought I may not be the only person with this issue. Elise Martin told me this earlier. Type in Jane Doe's name instead of the drop down box. But I don't know why the drop down box doesn't work. Uh, you know what? 
it's mm -hmm. it, sometimes, and this is the one um, thing we found with, oh, it's with magic. <laughs> with the command technology, um, we literally have launched this a year ago. And so um, sometimes, and, and, and I'll also tell you guys, Tuesdays, we're really lucky today. Doing this class on a Tuesday was risky only because they do updates on Tuesdays. So sometimes Tuesday morning, if it's working a little wonky, give it a couple of resets on the, on the computer or give it five minutes um, because they, they do the updates overnight on Tuesdays, you know, to the whatever the, the tech people do. Um, yeah, because I know that they sent out a message in the um, tech messaging that they were going to be doing some stuff today. So, yeah, we are. Yeah. And, and you so guys, I'm, I'm going to answer. Learning this. We're, I'm still learning it. And so as many others, we've got a few that are really good at it, like Jordan and Matt and Andy. Uh, but we are all still learning this. We're, we're coming from the old dot loop system to the new command system. Mm -hmm. And so we're all learning this together. Don't feel that questions are stupid or, or you're afraid to bother somebody. Bother us and we'll try to figure it out. So, and I'm going to jump on a couple questions real quick. Um, all right. I'm going to start with Margie. Margie, we cannot use our old DocuSign program and upload to command. So know what you want to do. And we're going to go over this um, in, the, in the classes and show everybody how to do it is you go to settings and, and Karen might share her screen and you go to, you go to your, little, your little picture that has your little name there to the right, to the top right, and you go to settings. So Karen Schulte, go down to settings. And that and, was, I'll go back and, and show you where the profile stuff and all and that. And this, this is where you connect your account. So, so her DocuSign says connected, um, you see the one below it says connect. There would be a button there that says connect and you connect it and you get a DocuSign account that's built to work with command um, for free for free as part of your package. So you that's how you connect. I'm, and I'm answering a couple questions from chat at once here. That's how you connect it to it. All right. So that that Dustin, that's how you get your DocuSign and command to answer Mary H's question. No, you do not need to learn anything with dot loop. Just learn this stuff. Learn the command and the DocuSign. Dot loop is being phased out. We only kept it around because we have some agents that have been doing things a certain way a long time in our in our group, and we didn't want to just throw the brakes on them. We we try to kind of give a lot of runway for people to ad adopt the new technology. Um, Margie, so your old DocuSign program is the new profile to access and DocuSign in our intro email from Scott Leroy. So when you go to connect your account, it's going to ask you for your kw.com email that came um, through that. And, and it'll walk you, when you click connect, it'll walk you through the steps to set it up and, and get your DocuSign in there. It won't be in the email from Scott Leroy. Just go into the command, go to settings, click connect account, and it'll walk you through the steps. And you when I opened my KW email, it, had confirmation emails from mm -hmm. a DocuSign waiting to be mm -hmm. like confirmed by account. Mm -hmm. If you yep. try to use your old email, it will keep pulling you back into the old DocuSign. So you have to use a different email. Yeah, you'll have to use your new. And don't worry, Amy can work you through that. If you're having any login problems, that's Amy's specialty. So if you have any questions or issues, uh, you know, rock that out. Now, I want to jump on Margie's question. Um, you can't upload from your old DocuSign to command, but, uh, but we can help you download those documents and save file. That's right. That, that's exactly what Mary H just said. You can set down, just download them to your computer and then upload those into command. And she says she's going to cancel, cancel Jim's old account. Cause this is free. And that's, that's one of the things that we'll be working through over the next few weeks is we get you guys kind of trained up on our technology is, hey, what are you spending money on that we can, we can save you money in your business? You know, it's not just that agents make more money with us. They keep more of their money because we help them. We help keep their costs down as much as we can. And I'm just going to run through there just to show you there's a lot of things in here when you come in here that you can get connected so that you have them all connected to your command. Absolutely. Now, a lot of people do Twilio. I don't have a Twilio account, but you can connect that. You can do PySync. It's a lot of stuff in here for you to do. The big thing is when you come in here, I'm just going to say, and I think 
it's been told you before is if you make sure you go into your profile and fill all that information out because that information is all going to pull into your free website that you get. Mm -hmm. so you're going to want to come in here and fill out your bio so that that will all pull over. Yep. And Margie, Margie makes another good point. Um, she agrees with canceling the old account, but she's concerned about old files that would be lost. Um, Margie, I'm happy to sit down with you and we can, we can download all of those files and save them in a folder so that you wouldn't lose those. And you could still, you could have a redundant backup. Um, what I, what I did when I did that was I utilized your MyKW, um, your KW.com email account. And this is, you know, a lot of tech, so don't, don't worry. We'll walk through this slowly, but it's a, it's a backed by Gmail account. So it gives you a, um, like Gerald said the other day, it gives you a um, Gmail, uh, Google Drive. And so, um, oh, Mary H says she has her files printed. She likes to kill trees. <laughs> um, uh, there are still a lot of people who do that. So absolutely. absolutely. And I, um, I uploaded all my old documents into my Google Drive to save them there within my account. Uh, because I agree with you, you don't want to lose your old file. So Margie, happy to sit down with you and walk through that. Don't, don't worry about that. We can, we can certainly get that done. All right, sorry, Karen. Trying to keep up with the chat questions. Didn't no, mean to step good. on you on you that's there. Good. No, you're not. No, that's a good thing. Any questions they have is great. But yes, and like Connie said, don't feel like you're behind because we have a lot of Keller Williams agents that are um, probably in the same spot as you. They haven't done anything, so it's all right. It's a work in progress. Absolutely. And we're going to, we're going to get through it together and, and we're here to teach and train and support you guys in any way that we can. And there's, I, I mean, I can't think of anyone that you, if you would ask that they wouldn't help you if they, mm -hmm. you know, if they had the chance, they would help you with anything that they could. So. Sure. And those of you that were on this morning at nine, you know, Jordan, Matt, Tiffany, these are, um, these are, are literally the, the top producers on our list and they're using command at a high level and have cut off so much other technology. So once you embrace it and you get used to it and, and call, Tiffany's a great person to reach out to. It, it took them a couple weeks. When they finally committed, they said, okay, we're going to learn this. And over a couple weeks, we worked with them. They dug in. But now they come out on the other side going, wow, this is so much easier, so intuitive. I run my business all from one platform. It, it keeps my costs so low. You know, there's a ton of benefits of it, but it, it took us all. And, and I only know it or Karen only knows it because we've been, we've been diving in since they released it last February. And just like you guys, we didn't know anything else except to play with it and, and start learning it. Um, you know, they, they, they released it to us last February with basically no training. Just said, here you go, kids, go play with the new toy. And uh, it's, it's been awesome. Yeah. And then we all played and then we got a little frustrated because then nothing happened. And then once they started again, it was like that new toy was back again. And you know what? That's a great, that's a great point, Karen. And before we wrap up, cause I, I don't want to, I want to keep these to an hour or less just cause we don't want to get pancake brain. But if you could scroll over the little question mark there, there to the top right and click that for me. So guys, this gives you Keller Williams university is where you'll find trainings on everything you could think of in real estate, including around command. Um, you can also check out the blog for the latest details, right? Also, this is a constant ongoing changing animal mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Keller Williams has developed. We've developed it. We own it and we can make changes to it by telling them, Hey, if you did this, it would be easier. You'd be surprised what they do to, to, uh, be with us and do the way things need to be done. Ab absolutely hold on karen stay there for me okay it's, hang on. Um, i was going to show you never oh. mind i was going to show something else was... well i want to take them through the three options for support real quick okay. so you got keller williams university um you can go chat with support and chat with support is a support bot that'll initially ask you you know and try to solve your problem if it doesn't give you an answer It'll say, do you want to get in contact with someone? Um, and and it'll, it'll do that. And then what Connie was talking about, post an idea, the little lab, the little dog in the little thing, 
if you think of something, anything, and say, man, it'd be really smart if this did this, you can post that as an idea. And if it, it goes onto a board and if it gets enough traction, other agents vote for your idea, they'll build it in. They will literally take that idea and say, enough of our agents think this is a good idea. We're going to find a way to build this in. Someone um, add document slicer to that so I can vote for it. Okay. Well, you know what, Elise? <laughs> you go in there and put document splitter in there and we'll all vote for it. So, yes, we would right. vote for that. I wish that they would have one in command. I, I love the document splitter in transact or in well in dot loop. I'm gonna go say I like dot loop. But, um. So Marina, don't worry, we'll put a loom out for the listing process. Dustin opened a command article from the KW University and it had a basic walkthrough. So there you go. You can find yep. um, find lots of helpful information at Keller Williams University. It, it's I think there was 20 pages of, of training options there. And just as a, if you're in here and you don't know what all these things here if you click on the kw the red kw then you can read what all these things on the side are when you go to look for something yeah a little easier and, and guys it's massive it's um it's a lot please i can't stress enough don't try to learn it all in one day your head will literally explode we lost two agents like that last month it was very sad um <laughs> you know it, it, instead Instead, bite it off one bite at a time. You know, tell yourself you're going to put some context in. You're going to learn that. Then dig into opportunities. Then watch a, a video on the YouTube channel or call me and we'll run an ad campaign to advertise your listing. You know, we'll, we'll be training around this nonstop. Um, we're, we're doing as much as we can to try not to overwhelm you, but, but bring you value in training every day so you can get up to speed. Uh, it's an artificial intelligence platform. It is always growing and learning. So. And is, um, uh, is uh, Jordan going to do a thing on contacts? Yes. Yeah, Jordan's doing contacts tomorrow. Matt is doing lead generation. Um, really Jordan important. is doing really contacts uh, and smart plans on Thursday. Yes. And I, Friday yeah. we'll be doing. Um, Friday we'll be doing. That's right, Margie. This is how you eat an elephant, one bite at a time. I like that. Um, the uh, and Friday we'll be doing my normal command jump in. Um, and I thought I would go through the social media campaign and the website info and some of the stuff we didn't get to last Friday. And just a reminder on Friday at three in the afternoon, we really want all you guys to come to that one. It's just going to be, we're calling it like happy hour. Um, because of it, with everything going on, we just want to connect with everybody, see how everybody's doing, um, ask questions, get to know each other a little bit that way. Tell some funny stories, maybe, because we all need a little bit of humor right now. Yeah, and, and you know what? That, I, that's a great point. Please join us Friday at 3 from your patio, your balcony, your office if you want to. Um, you know, we're going we're gonna to have a little levity. We're going to swap some, some real estate horror stories. Uh, we'll get Sherry Stevens to try to tell the one about showing the listing with the, the with pig. The pig. That, um, I can tell you a couple from my days as an agent that were pretty ridiculous. Um, and I, I know Karen can, so we want to hear from everybody. Give us a great chance to relax after a hard week and blow off a little steam. So three o'clock, we'll be sending that link out Friday afternoon. Uh, be watching for it, and, and we'll get everybody together at three o'clock on, on Friday. Any, you know, anytime before that, after that, whenever, if you need anything, please let any of us know, because we are here to help you. Absolutely. And it doesn't Absolutely. have to be real estate. It can be anything. Um, Keller Williams, you know, culture is a big thing with us. So whatever it is, let us know. That's right. We're, we're here to take care of everyone. You're all very important to us, not just our new agents, but all our agents. So are we thank you everyone for bringing Are we getting oh. our transaction desk straightened out? We are. We're working on it right now. Yay. Um, Elise is getting, she got, we got her an admin access. She's getting everybody's documents. I'm pretty sure she got with Mary H and I was got what Jimmy did. So. And actually got some of mine um, already showing agent or public view. So it's working. Whatever she's doing, thank God it's working. Oh, I only okay. did one. Are they really moving stuff over for us? Well. Or is it just the one that we were looking for? The Smolingus one, the 5112 Parkview, or uh uh osage beach parkway that one is showing i haven't looked for any other ones okay 
Hawk, Hawk's Nest is what I moved over. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Excellent. Um, uh, at least it, it looks like I have to go by per each listing, save them to my computer, and then upload them to everyone's individual transaction desks. Okay. So please bear with me. Um, <laughs> I will. Can you my <coughs> Kelly listing at Water's Edge? We have a contract on that, so I need to get that. Like, okay. You, how about this? You send me a list of the stuff that you have under contract, and I will move those first. And that okay. goes for everyone. Yeah, any, anybody that's got anything cooking, send send that to Elise directly. She'll get that uh, done, and in the background, she'll do the rest. And i got to say, Elise has been a hero. You know, rolling two massive organizations that do this much business into one um, is, is a little tougher than just shuffling a deck of cards, and I could not have done it without Elise. She has been hauling the water for everybody, and, uh, and I am super grateful for that, Elise. Thank you. I accept Baxter's gift cards. As <laughs> she accepts Baxter's <laughs> gift cards. That's great. All right, Elise. I take my whole family when I get a gift <laughs> card. So that means Gerald gets Baxter's, Elise gets Baxter's. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, everybody, listen, get out there, dig into your command, reach out to us. Um, not all of us being in the office has not been easy. I agree, Margie. I am looking forward to a time where we can get agents together. I love, um, I love that we're doing this, but it would be nice if we could actually mastermind and talk and work through these in person where we could also show you on your computer, things like that. We will get back to it. Uh, we will get through this and we're going to move out of this stronger, uh, stronger together. So thank you all for participating. Thank you so much, Karen and Elise for all that you do. Please reach out to any of us on the staff. We can do anything for you and you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming everybody.